guys welcome to a new video happy friday today i am spending the day with you hopefully you want to spend the day with me i don't know i uploaded my unexpected east london vlog today since then i've done my moz trip and my second east london trip and those are the two vlogs that you'll see before this one other than that i haven't vlogged like the entire week and also my flights for this coming week are very all over the place i have flights getting taken away i have like a two leg becoming a four leg and then becoming a home reserve it's a whole thing so i'm not gonna bank on flying the rest of this week but i thought i would definitely spend today with you guys i don't know why i didn't bring an extra battery because i've just started talking and my battery's already flashing on my camera poor planning on my part anyway hi guys thank you so much for coming back to my corner of the internet if it's not your first time here but if it is your first time hi hello my name is andy and i'm a south african flight attendant and i live here in Joburg with my fiance and our terrier mix benji and and on this channel you will find all of the work week in my life vlogs i bring you guys along to work with me and i share my job with you but i'm also trying to figure out a way to like get more of the lifestyle content onto my channel let me let me get to the point of this intro though i'm doing a four leg today i'm doing a hood spread and back and then a kimberly and back and the hood spread flights are like less than an hour so those should be pretty quick turnarounds and then the kimberly flights are just over an hour i think or maybe Maybe they're an hour two how long are they an hour 25 minutes is what's blocked off there we'll see when we're actually on the plane right we are on the crj 100 today we've already called for boarding but they're not here yet we're supposed to depart at 11 40 and i'm expecting i think 20 passengers or 18 somewhere around there i can't really remember and then our flying time to hood spread and back should be about 45 minutes and the same with on as well so it should be a feeling good day this airport is not much bigger than the one in plate um 12:39 I'm gonna call for boarding in the next minute or so. Coming in was good. The flight, I had 17 passengers and everyone is easy, but it was just a very short flight. We came here with 18 passengers, I think, or 20 passengers, I can't even remember. But everyone is really nice. There was a really cute, smiley baby on board. And of course, as I finish doing the demo, while everybody's attention is still on me, do I not go and knock my head on the side of the overhead? But, like literally I think that happens to me at least once a day, it's crazy, but I think we're like 40 minutes early, hey, because it's 22, it's 22 4, and we only need to take off out of here at 20 past 4, so I think we'll wait 10 more minutes, and then 30 minutes before departure time we'll call for boarding, but I think we'll still be able to get out of here early and get home early, hopefully if all goes well. But yo, these flights, all of them are about 45 minutes long and guys, they're so hectic. I have barely eaten, so that's one thing I'm going to go do right now, is I'm going to go scarf down a sandwich real quick because I haven't had any time to actually eat properly during these flights today. It's just been so busy. And I think knocking my head just like messed up my hair. Oh, also, my jump seat in the front is really like difficult. It's like difficult to pull out and so it broke two of my nails so i'm gonna have to do my nails again tonight my name is andy and i'll be taking care of you in the cabin and just have your attention for a quick safety demonstration the crj 100 aircraft has full emergency thank you so much for your attention please sit back relax and enjoy this flight with us good morning you guys yesterday just got away from me so i could not keep vlogging because like I had said, I think I spoke to you guys when we were in Kimberley, but our turnaround in Joburg was very, very hectic. And then when we got to Kimberley as well, things were hectic. I came back from Kimberley to Joburg with 29 passengers and they kept me very busy. The flight again was like 45 minutes long. I asked the pilots to please 
fly as slowly as possible but clearly they did not care they were like mm -mm, we're getting back when we get back so I was just up and down constantly the thing is when the flight is 45 minutes long and I'm by myself and I have 29 passengers or especially when I have a full flight at my airline we don't do just like the one service when I used to fly at Mango we used to sell food so you would go down for like a Durban flight it was easy to still like sit down and have something to eat because we would go down the aisle to try to sell stuff and not a lot of people want to buy anything in a 45 minute flight maybe one person here and there will ask for like a bottle of water or something but for us because we're giving food it's full service I give people a choice of a sandwich and I give them a choice of drinks so I've got like coke, coke zero, water, sparkling water, I've got juice, I've got lemonade, ginger ale, that kind of stuff. I've also got beer, I've got red wine, I've got white wine and yesterday was Friday so we had gin and tonic as well. So people got excited about that obviously and then after that service I still have to come back with snacks so it's all these different chips and chocolates as well. So yeah, it just kept me very busy and the thing is the first 10 minutes of the flight are me in my jump seat because we're taking off until we reach 10,000 feet and then the last 15 minutes of the flight are also me in my jump seat because I'm basically securing the cabin for landing and taking up my jump seat and we're landing. That leaves me 20 minutes in a 45 minute flight to do that entire service. So it was just so busy. I, I think I tried to eat a sandwich during Kimberley because we got there so early I had like 10 minutes and I was able to have my sandwich if I didn't I would have collapsed <laughs> because I didn't get a chance to eat I didn't even get a chance to make a cup of coffee at all it was just so busy of a day I like that everything went by fast but I don't like that I barely got a chance to breathe during the flights yesterday but my pilots were great the passengers were great it was overall a good day i am on home reserve the whole day today from 5 a.m till 8 it's 7 30 now i woke up at half past four and i had a shower and then i got right back into bed <laughs> and i waited for keegan to wake up basically and i just made us coffee now he's just in the shower and it's a saturday so for him he's like oh let's just go get breakfast and this and that and I'm like no I'm on standby I can't I'm gonna keep an eye on the crew board if we do go anywhere I'll probably take my uniform and my required items and stuff with me just in case Keegan has to pick up a new bank card because somebody tried to use his bank card to make a fraudulent transaction a couple weeks back so he had to cancel his card which is funny because that happened to me like a month ago somebody tried to spend like 300 rand on my card and then I had to cancel my card and it happened while I was like in Mozambique or something so it's something that I literally I had to cancel because I couldn't go into the bank right away I'm actually on reserve today and tomorrow so my entire weekend is me on standby there's not much fun stuff I can do um, which kind of sucks Easy rider on the highway Station wagon going slow Windows open, you are basking In the bluegrass radio mm -hmm. It is easy now to see you With your hand out on I keep this folded at the corner so that I could not forget it. Folded at the corner so that I could not forget. Mm. Pink azaleas by your driveway. Shade our leisurely. Goodbye. I decided to get like semi ready just have a little bit of makeup on and i decided to also put my wig on that i haven't worn in a really long time because i ordered two new wigs from this one company that i found online they're based in pretoria and if you guys remember the last time i ordered wigs from like some random cheap overseas online store that was a complete disaster so this time i decided to order 
from a place that's in Pretoria so that if anything is wrong I could just drive there and be like no <laughs> this is not good <laughs> but I am trusting that those wigs will come and be fine so at least I will have three wigs to kind of circulate with for work at least but I do really like this one I don't know if I mentioned that Keegan has flu so he took some medication and he fell asleep immediately because the man is not used to medication with codeine in it so it has affected him hectically but at least he'll probably feel better by the time he wakes up so I'm going to edit for a little bit and then I'm thinking around 3 p.m. it should be safe for us to leave the house so yeah that's pretty much what I'm gonna wait for I'm also re-watching Bridgerton because the new season is coming out in less than two weeks so of course I'm re-watching it from the very beginning In your shadow to the coast Past the surf and whitewashed beaches Under cypress trees and smoke <laughs> Wait <laughs> We just confused him So these are our little Is it mandarins or clementines did you say? Clementines, our clementine trees that are starting to get some color over here. And Keegan is insisting that he's going to make marmalade. He's gonna make some marmalade. How are you gonna make marmalade? He'll Google. Okay. So anyway, so Keegan claims he'll be able to make marmalade with our clementines. We'll see. I'll keep you guys posted. But we are about to head out. I'm going to take my bag and uniform with me and we're going to take my car just in case I get called out. But I don't think I will. It's literally after three now and I'm pretty sure the last departure out of Joburg that I could possibly be called out for was a quarter to two. So we've already given it like a lot of extra time. But we are going to Keegan's brother's house because his mom is visiting. She stayed with us last week. Um, but then this week she's with his brother and Yuline and Carlo and she made chicken curry So we're gonna go because her, her curry is the best <laughs> Like it is the best even though she taught Keegan well. She really did. He makes a really good curry. Hers is still Tops so we're gonna go there for dinner, but I think we're gonna start at the store We're gonna go to pick and pay and get a few household things <laughs> Keegan is so excited. These are the these are the flowers he wants at our wedding. M marigolds. That's so cute though. My I like lilies and you like marigolds. Yeah. But 150 rand. Yeah, oh, no. No. Instead we got a tulip plant. Oh they have meatloaf. Have you ever had meatloaf? Me neither. It's like mince and you bake it and it's got cheese on top and it's got a few veggies on the inside. It's like baked mince essentially and you would have that with like potato bake then look at how supportive <laughs> we got eggs <laughs> quick grocery haul because we we're just dropping the stuff off and then going to keegan's brother's house we started our little collection of sparkling wine for our toasts for our wedding because these were on sale they were 80 rand so we got them got some mince because i'm gonna make cottage pie tomorrow we have potatoes we need to use up no the fridge i'll cook tomorrow and then we got two of these middle cut fish tin fish these are great because they have like really big pieces of fish in them. We had to get some hot chocolate because it is winter. We also got a broom randomly because yesterday our helper, she said our one broke. And then we saw these rusks. I think Keegan saw these online the other day. And then we saw them at Pick and Pay and we we're so excited because they're like Romany creams flavored rusks. Wait, let me see. Yeah, here you go chocolate coconut flavor and then i really like these tennis biscuit flavored ones so i just decided to also get those and then paper towels toilet paper got some bread got some bananas these were only 10 rand that's insane got some oil and then whenever we go into pick and pay Keegan, that specific pick and pay, Keegan seems to always get me flowers, which is so sweet. And today we found this tulip bulb plant thing, which is so pretty. I love tulips. I love tulips. I love peonies. I love 
lilies and sunflowers. So these are so pretty, but Keegan came across some marigolds and he was super excited about those. I think I should go back and get him some marigolds. Get this one's full, yeah. We're gonna take this ice cream. Guys, this ice cream, it tastes like soft serve, hey? We're gonna plug you on ice cream. Aylesbury, you get it at Checkers. It tastes like soft serve. It's so good. Oh, you got rid of all those flowers and the, the plants that were over there? Hectic. <gasps> I'm going inside. Our friend Justin renovated this house and Keen and I actually looked at it before he renovated it and we considered buying it. It's like way out of our budget, but they are kind of almost done renovating. So let me show you. Look at this kitchen. Oh my word. <gasps> the waterfall island, Justin. <laughs> I love these. The tiles are huge. Mm, my word. This is the dining area. That's pretty. Oh, that's so nice. That is so nice. It looks so nice. Like compared to the, and you can't even tell that those were diagonally cut off weirdly before. Oh, look. These ones are nice too. Ah, yeah. oh, yeah. just dead. Oh, you kept this window. Yeah, we've been standing people. Nice. Very nice. And the floors are stunning. It's so pretty. I can't get over this kitchen. <laughs> I love the kitchen. I love that you added the scullery. Stop! <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> oh, it's so pretty. <gasps> so much space. So much space for all of the clothes. There's like a corner thing. It's so nice. And this is the other view of the lounge area. Look at this. This is the front door. It's so pretty. I mean, look at that. That's deep. This is the stove. I can't get enough of this freaking kitchen. Look at those lights. And oh, that's beautiful. It's got a gas stove over there. Look at that. And then this whole scullery area wasn't here before. But look at how much storage he added. And there's a door to the backyard and a door to the garage. This before didn't even have a ceiling, it was just open. And then you got some shelving. There's space for appliances like the dishwasher, washing machine, and there's another sink back here, which is so cool. I love these shelves. It's so pretty. It's insane. It's so pretty. There's a paper towel behind me. Put it right there, in there. Keegan. Oh, they look at your smell just like Roman and creams. It tastes like a hard, a hard room in cream. What do I go to that? Where do I go? Go to the website. What is the website? And I know that the people I don't recognize are from your side. You don't have to do that. Good morning, everyone. It's Sunday now. I'm on home reserve again. I woke up at half past four in the morning and I showered again. It's nine o'clock now. Yeah. Keegan and I are working, well, Keegan's working on our wedding guest list because he has 90 people. More than 90 people, because remember some of them are on my list. Keegan has almost 100 people on his guest list and I have 40. What are you trying to say? That you're just so popular. Anyway, so he's figuring out the guest list in the sense that like he has to upload everybody's names and stuff to our wedding website. 
so that when they RSVP, they can kind of just select themselves from the list. Um, so that's what he's doing. We're busy over here while I edit. And I just came across this... Oh, did I? How did I go out of it? Where did I see it then? Um, anyway, I just saw this random Instagram post that asked, um, you can have two free things for the rest of your life. What would you choose? And the options are free groceries, free rent, free petrol, free plane tickets, or free clothes and shoes for the rest of your life. So I say, because I work for an airline, I would choose free groceries and free rent for the rest of my life. I can fill petrol and I can buy myself clothes for the rest of my life. What are you choosing? Define groceries. What do you mean define groceries? Groceries, everything that you usually buy at pick and pay, let's say. Let's say pick and pay will give you free groceries for the rest of your life. So that's definite? <laughs> that's definite, yeah. What are the other options? Free petrol, free rent, free clothes, free plane tickets. You're marrying someone in the airline industry. You don't need free plane tickets for the rest of your life. I when you choose turn old and then you don't come <laughs> When I turn old? Doesn't matter. We can still save all the money that we'd be spending on rent to buy but plane I tickets. But I own property. I don't rent. Yeah, well then no bond for the rest of your life. No that's, bond. That, that's not an option there. Eh? It is. I'm putting it in there. What are you choosing? Free groceries and? Um, not free petrol because petrol soon will be... Electric? Yeah, eventually when they get it right. Okay. My battery is flashing, Keegan. You're taking forever to decide. Uh, <laughs> You're taking this question so seriously. <coughs> what are you choosing? Not clothes. Yeah. So then free rent. Okay, free rent. There we go. What are you guys choosing? Sun. I don't wanna care so much. It's 3.30 and I still haven't been called out. I've made myself some cheese and crackers and I've gotten started on the cottage pie. I've been editing Tuesday's vlog and tell me how did I take enough footage to make a 47 minute long vlog? I never do that. I can't make a vlog longer than like 30 minutes. And this vlog somehow ended up 47 minutes long after all the editing. And you know that means I started out with like double the amount of footage, right? It's crazy. Anyway, you guys will see that on Tuesday. It's almost 8. I'm definitely not gonna get used today. So we're calling it a night. We just had some peaches and cream for dessert. I don't think I showed you guys my cottage pie, but it's cottage pie. You don't really need to see that. But I think I'm gonna call it now because it has been a very boring weekend on standby. But thank you guys for coming and flying with me on Friday. I really appreciate it. I hope that you enjoyed it as well. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. And please also subscribe to my channel if you want to stick around. And also please hit the notification bell so that you get notified whenever I upload a new video. Because although my upload schedule is every Friday, I sporadically, randomly decide to upload on Tuesdays sometimes. I hope you guys have an awesome weekend and I'll see you all on the next video very soon. Also please continue spreading good vibes and being kind. Bye guys! You give me a sign Give me a sign Oh, give me a sign Baby, give me a sign Just give me one more